thought I'd come out here and show a uh, progress video. Got to stress, can't stress enough. These are not how-to videos. Hopefully that's clear by now. But this is my 750 grain drill. The um, each row, 24 rows, has got a hub on it, and the hub, which is this here getting wobbly on four of them. So I've got it all apart. Here's the assembly. There's the hub right there, and there's a uh, cup, uh, race, bearing, seal, a washer, another uh, O-ring, and then a washer, and then it slides on the shaft. And there's the disc opener, which is this piece, and that wheel goes on the end of this bolt turn right there on this offset arm. So this piece right here is this arm. And interesting, it was confusing to me, I don't know if it's gonna show up, you see that red on there? That was one of the old seals. And the new seals I put on, I don't know if it'll show up, but the old seals were driven and they had that face there was loctited to, I don't want to get too greasy, I just cleaned up, to that face there so that the seal was locked to a stationary part of this arm relative to the hub, which is spinning once it's engaged with the ground. All these gauge wheel depth wheels are spinning and the disc is, it's just inside of it once the drill is in the ground so it's meant to turn I don't understand what the previous owner of this was doing but on three of the four I found that Loctite there as well as there's a rubber o-ring that's in this kit I don't know if it's gonna show up but it's hidden in there this is the shoot part it's this O-ring here, which is a little confusing, but it ends up going back and there's a groove cut in this shaft. That O-ring, this washer first goes on, then this O-ring, then the hub is in the center. So you slide this through this part here. Well, they'd stuck this O-ring inside the hub when I disassembled them. I, I called around a deer and I looked online and you know, this is this is actually the book. This is the deer book. And it's the uh, owner's manual, operator's manual, not the tech manual. So this is an expected repair. I mean, they just go bad over time. Anyway, here's one of the bearings. There are these um, pre-seals. I don't know what the hell you call them. It's this piece right here. Goes in the top, the top part, and then the race sits further down in there. There's one of the races. Pretty straightforward stuff, but um, it was really confusing. There's all the old bearings. It's confusing. Um, this is the first time I've done it. It's a relatively straightforward repair. Um, thankfully, this shaft isn't worn out. Neither was the bore that's in this row unit arm. So the only slop was in this hub. So by replacing the bearings, I'm able to um, get that fixed. So I've got two done. i got two more to go, or one and a half done. So basically the way I was testing that is this this shouldn't wobble. And the, and the four, side to side, there shouldn't be really any noticeable play in it. And there was on the four. But you can see this you know, turns. It's supposed to touch it, scrape a little bit. And I do need to replace well, about half of these gauge wheel tires. I might replace all of them. But the rubber starts to fray right on the lip here it gets tore out but it's been a good drill i'm just getting it ready we're going to do the kerns here coming today sunday i'm going to put drill the kerns in on it just rained uh, in a couple days i think tuesday or wednesday so that's the um shop project in my immaculate shop space be nice to have a concrete floor over here one day one day so all the kerns is in here to keep the mice out, keep the squirrels from eating it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.